welcome to Spouse Antics. In this episode, we have made it out of the workshop. And we're on the road in Savannah Bay. Right then, bus is in the paint booth. Let's have a look. So the inside's been painted. Outside's all ready to go into colour. And what colour did it go in the end? Savannah beige. Everybody voted Savannah beige, so Savannah beige it is. So she's all prepped up. I'm about to get painted. I thought I'd just do a quick whiz round before uh, all the paint shop started painting. I spent most of my morning helping them out a bit in the engine bay. Let's have a little, little look round. So here she is. She's a 1972. We picked up completely rust free. And uh, off to the paint shop it went to get painted in Savannah Beige. She's a crossover. Dulux trim all the way around, all the original Dulux trim as well. A couple of little imperfections on it, but it's all original, which I think is amazing. Mechanically, all been gone through by Simon at NOSVW. All the receipts for that as well. In the engine bay. Engine's all been gone through by Luke at Gary Angel Racing. She's got one of our pop tops on. It's not fully fitted yet because we're waiting for the canvas choice. So inside is a blank canvas. I've got a set of early seats for it, ready to trim. She's totally rust free, this thing, when we got it. Never been welded or messed about with. It's amazing. So inside, we have a blank canvas at the moment. We've got a three quarter Rusty Lee rock and roll bed. Full side unit, hob sink. The floor's down. Got a hard wearing sandy colored floor. So headlining's not in yet either. Things that I'm going to carry on ticking away that I've already picked some colours for the interior. Uh, I'm going to be going for a uh, herringbone fabric on the top half and then burgundy down with horizontal 50mm fluting. That's the plan. Uh, I'm going to go for an off-white perforated headliner. I'm going to do the pop top in a brown stripe. I'm going to do hessian matte set, just deciding on the colours and the trims. So yeah. Here she is. She's all running, driving, lovely van. Okay, so we're out in the Savannah Beige, cruising down Paul Harbour. This is her maiden voyage. Had this van quite a long time. If you've not been following this van, she's had uh, a full resto. A uh, nice rust free shell. We sound dead, insulated it, trimmed it, headlined it, put a pop top on it. I bought it from a, a fella who had had all the mechanical work done by a company called NOS, who you may already know from Simon and Luke. So they did all the engine and the, the beams and all the brakes, everything was brand new underneath. So it's the perfect project for me. So yeah, we'll have a little look around it now. Shoes for sale, so do get in contact if you're interested. I will be up at Volkswell this weekend in the bus. She's in the for sale section. Yeah, so there we go. Savannah is done.
show you around the inside and then we're on the outside. Let's go. We're down the beach as well. Woo. So starting with the front. It's all trimmed throughout in this cherry red and this herringbone. I think it's wicked. Nice early seats, low backs, all to match. Hesse and Matt set throughout. Insulated, sound deadened. Into the back, we've got a nice Coleman vintage cooler in matching red. Let's go in the back. She's got a hub with gas, two ring burner and a full gas bottle as well and also a sink with electric pump gas bottle and water tank stored underneath we've got a three quarter half a pole bed all matched with tray with some storage space up top so the pop tops up at the moment and the bed is in just collapsed mode I'll show you how that comes out in a second uh, I've also got a little video of my niece up there when it's all out so we'll show you that in a second <laughs> you've just parked up this is how long it takes to put the bed out That's the planks out. One cushion. Two cushion. Done. And there we have a nice big bed. Perfect for a single adult or a couple of kiddies. And all tucked out of the way. This van is so rust free that there's even all the original spot welds. These are normally a really grotty area, but that is all factory, factory, factory. All the factory stuff, it's amazing. It's an absolute little time warp. All this original metal, it's amazing. All the steps, everything in this thing is uh, not been welded, never been replaced. Let's go around and have a look in the engine bay, shall we? Nice little 3D pressed plate. Fully painted in the engine bay. inside the van it's now night time I just wanted to show you the down lights for the kitchen interior which are pretty snazzy let's have a look from the outside uh, 
And also, if you head into the back, if I park you down here, we've got a readout for voltage, double USB, and cigarette lighter style USB. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. And don't forget to share. And come and buy it if you want. It can be yours. Take it easy. See you next time on Spanos Antics. We'll be back on with the Volvo. Don't you worry. See you later.